here. What up YouTube? It's Louis here bringing you today's cryptocurrency video. So today we're going to be looking at a new coin, Firo. Firo is a potential micro cap gem. So I'm going to obviously explain what it's about. But before we get into the video, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure to comment down below what altcoins you want to see in the next video. I'll see you in the video guys. guys let's look at Firo. So it's ranked 438th. We got our Price at the moment at $7.13. We're currently 1.79% down for the day. Our market cap is only 88 point, uh, we could say 88.6 uh, million dollars. So it's a micro cap gem basically. Very, very low volume uh, today to be honest. But yeah, our circulating, our max supply basically. This is good because the tokenomics is good because there's a max supply. They're not going to keep adding coins, which devalues the coins. There's a max supply. So whatever happens now, that is the maximum. Our current circulating supply is just over half of that at 12 million, 12.4 uh, million, basically. So our total supply is 21.4 million. So there's basically under 9 million coins left and you need to think for the coins that are out there there's going to be coins that are lost so there's uh, this uh, max supply this total supply is only ever really going to go down because of lost coins and whatnot so what is Firo? Firo used to be known as Zcoin so they just rebranded and so this basically focuses on being a digital um, on being private digital cash so it allows users to burn their coins and redeem them later for brand new ones that don't have any transaction history so no one's going to be able to know the transaction history so it's complete privacy with this coin let's dive straight into firo now so if you're not aware the ticker is firo usd so when i'm looking at this chart i can see that firo was in a bear market you're still essentially in a bear market because you're still below your previous bull market high back in 2018 the start of 2018 so because of that and because we're not above the 618 as well we're in a bear so once we get above the 618 which is at $30 here, $30. So once we get above this, this is a sort of a precursor that you're gonna take out the high. But before we do take out the high, which is at $167, yeah, I can't get it exactly, right? Yeah, roughly there, $167, so that's the high. Because if we zoom in, this is the weekly, but if we zoom in on the four hour, the wick is actually here, not there. That sometimes that happens on the chart, so you need to always check that your levels are exact. So go on the smaller time frames, like the four hour, and really zoom into that location and into this location, basically, to see if it's completely accurate. So what we want to see, basically, once we're above this level, is for this level to hold. And when you hold this level, it's kind of a precursor that you're going to go to this and uh, take that out. And once you're above this level. This is basically saying that you're now going to go to the extension targets and your first target is here at $560, the one, two, seven, two. So this is the level that I'm going to be looking at where I'll be taking profits from, from Firo. So why do I think we're going to go to here? So basically we had this massive weekly downtrend where, which started in 2018 and we only broke out back, uh, at the start of this year in February. So if let's, um, see why I believe that we're actually going to start an uptrend. So what I do see here is that this was the lowest point and this is on the weekly time frame. So anything that you see is more accurate because we're on a higher time frame. So what I see next is a higher low and I have a high here just before that. So after this higher low, if you're in an uptrend, you get a higher high. And what do we have? A higher high. And you've just taken out these two highs here, these two here, and you've actually taken out this high over here so you really are making higher highs it's obviously sad that we have a, a a lower high here but what is positive though is that we have a higher low here and when we've formed this lower high we've actually still formed a higher low so basically what i can see is that after we've bounced out of here and formed this sort of double bottom that put us in a technical target with this as the neckline but we did we got above it but we came back and lost it so this is no longer in play it can come back to play once we get back above that and then 
that technical target will still be there. But yeah, I'd say that we're heading to here. So yeah, after this higher low, we broke above this, well, multi-year downtrend basically and made a higher high and then a higher low on the outside of it. So resistance flipped into support. And after that, you've bounced out, got rejected by this 200 moving average and you've come back down to find support here. So actually, although I said that this is the key level at $2 basically, that not that isn't really. If we don't wanna go into a bear, we need to hold this zone here. This is the most key zone because actually when you went below it, you caused a fake out. This was a fake out because you got back above it. You didn't respect this as resistance and drop and form lower lows and lower highs and continue the bear market. You actually got back above resistance, meaning that this move here was a fake out. But actually when you came back to find support, you lost this area support and you actually did the same thing. So what you want to see, don't panic sell when you see this because you haven't come back to retest retest this resistance point. So what you want to see if it's going to be a bear market is for this area to hold as resistance and you fall like that. And that's when you want to sell, when you have rejections over here. However, if you do come back to this zone and get above it and hold it as support, which you see here and here, then it means that you're not going to go below, basically. It means that this is the floor, this is support. So from here, you should actually go up. And that's what we see. We went up and made higher highs over the last highs and this high. So now you're in a target to this high, basically, which is above the 0.618 at $30, which I said that if we do get above, we want this to hold. And this is a precursor that we're going to attack this and get above it. And once you're above that and hold that, you go to here. So let's now look at the daily time frame. So we, we said that $30, 30 or $31 is the level that we want to get above. So we'll mark that out now. So this is the key level. I'm actually gonna change the color of this. I'm gonna make it green. Green for gold, because this is the green light when we get above this, basically. <laughs> so, yeah, we wanna get, so what's positive is that we've come up, yes, we've made a lower high, but you've actually come back down. And when you've come back down, you found support in the same area, which I said was the area that we want to hold if we want to remain, uh, go into this bull market, basically, which was minimal 4.6 and the top of that was 5.3. It's a zone. So you don't, you just don't want to go below and reject that because every time you've come below, you faked out, basically, you got back above, you got back above, you got back above. So, and you look, you got back above, you got back above, you've had wicks down, basically. Clear. So what I'm seeing right now, if we put the fibs on again over here on the daily time frame, we can actually see that we have a 618 here. So, so what happens with the fibs is you actually do this. You're, you're meant to retrace. So this is your retracement before continuation, basically. It's a correction. And then the thing is, it can change if you take out this level and it actually becomes a reversal tool. So this is what we want to see. So a lot of people might be shitting it right now because they see that you've got rejected, you've come down. But what I see is that you've actually come down and you found a higher low, higher than this low. And if we're not taking out the low here, which is at $3. So if we're not losing $3, I remain bullish. And what I want to see if we don't lose this, we could have come all the way down to here. But what I want to do, uh, what I want to see is for us to get above this level, but not only that, to get above the 382, which is a key level of uh, a major key level of support because this is what the fib levels are major key levels of support and resistance and that's why we're constantly respecting them here 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 and here so we re we respect these levels because these three are major key levels of support and resistance so what you've done is you've held this level positive higher low higher low so and then you now formed a higher low on the 382 you've found your swing high come back down from your swing low so when we get above this and we get to the 618 i can uh, expect a rejection back down to this swing high find a swing low and then take it out and then head to that technical target so let's just mark that level out so i'm gonna put another green light <laughs> and when we get above the level of which is breaking this high here once we get above 11 dollars i would like to see fibro reach the level of where is it 94 dollars so when you get above here 
At $11, you've got a technical target up here. Now, I won't go fast. We're going to have corrections along the way, but don't worry about the short-term noise. If, if you see this area, hold a support, then we're going to here, basically. And that is in line with what we were seeing on the higher time frames. Let's just remove this drawing now and go back to the higher time frames. Because with Fira, because it's such a small coin, you want to look at it on the highest of time frames because everything on the lowest of time frames is waffle because it's such a small coin. It doesn't matter what's happening on the low time frames because a big buy will just completely ch uh, change the market. Do you, do you see what I mean? So you just want to stick to the high time frames of this. You're going to see a lot of scam wicks on the one hour, even on the four hours at a time. So you want to stay on the daily or the weekly or even the monthly because you actually do have enough months. So what I'm seeing now, yeah, I'm seeing the 55 holding, the 20 holding, not doing the bearish cross, actually rejecting, which is positive. When you get this, it's, it's a massive slingshot, basically. So put the charts back on. So yeah, what we were saying is that our technical target at 94 is in line with this, because now you're above that. And even if we correct it all the way to here, that's the level we need to hold. We could even just correct to here and go up. So yeah, it's all looking positive. So once you're above this, you're going to a minimal here. And once you're above this, you're going to minimal here. So it's massive gain. So once we get above here, that's a trade of 760%, which would already put you in this trade, which would be from entry 1,700%. So this is my minimal end of year forecast for fire at the moment. Perfect guys give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Remember to comment down below what altcoins you want to see in the next video and make sure to follow my crypto Twitter at Louis underscore crypto. So today I posted that Bitcoin is breaking out, meeting my first, and it, what it should do is meet my first target at 63k. And once we do that, we'll already be above this line, which puts us in a technical target at 65 0.786k, which is above the all-time high for Bitcoin at 64.8k. Perfect, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.